So let's talk a little bit about the architecture. So there's a couple components. Uh, the biggest, of course, is, is the core stack. And this is basically where the state, and state engine lives that, um, that deals with the LoRaWAN protocol. This part <coughs> is, um, is the central part of the stack and, and is always, always required. Then that portable core builds on top of um, what we call a portable runtime. And that runtime um, I split into, into three different parts. You can uh, debate whether, how to split them up, but I usually do it in three different parts. One is runtime, which basically deals with scheduling. So whenever, um, a good example is, um, let's do a join request, right? I send out a join request. Well, actually, I don't send out a join request because I have to do some random backup. So first of all, I have to wait, you know, a random backup period. So that means I have to schedule something to happen later. And then I do this. When that happens, I do the tra actual transmission. Then at five seconds later, I have to schedule a reception for the, the first receive and the join set. And then maybe one second later, I have to schedule another one for the second receipt of the join, except if I didn't receive it in the first one. So that's this, that's this part. So whenever the stack needs to do something in the future, it uses the runtime to, to schedule something. Then, of course, we have the, the radio driver box, which is basically a, an abstraction in, um, into, the, into the radio. So as you know, all the radios have different, um, <coughs> different libraries and APIs uh, to actually talk to the hardware, so this um, <coughs> is our abstraction here, and this is actually one of the components that that, um, that will change. So Semtech is actively working on unifying the driver APIs so that all the um, six, all 61, 62, 76, um, <coughs> 80s, and so on, that they will all have the same. They will have a unified driver API which sits on top of the specific APIs. And that, of course, once that is available, will also filter in here. And we can get rid of our abstraction and just use the, the generic one. And then the third box deals with state and personalization. So in Laura, WAN 103, we only have one thing that really needs to be kept um, persistent if, you, if you're if you um, an OTA device, and that's that's the, the not, because that's not a count that basically counts up. Uh, from zero <laughs> up, and it's not a random thing anymore. So um, to store things like that, the stack needs to hand it off to somebody that has access to Flash, or whatever, to, uh, to keep that safe. And then also, of course, the stack would like to um, <coughs> have access to things like um, UIs and keys and so on. And actually, for, for um, Crypto stuff, there is now also an abstraction to enable the use of, of um, cryptographic modules. So there's, like I said, you, you can divide this up even further, but this is like the three basic building blocks that each can use. And then below this, there's a platform specific hardware, which um, um, implements the things on the actual hardware. So if we do a scheduler, we probably need a timer. So this would lift down here and help would have a timer, which would then uh, fire whenever the runtime wants to have something scheduled, for example. And then at the bottom of the hardware. Now, when you when you want to port the stack to some platform architecture, um, you'll need this. You can use these, but you don't have to. So you can draw the lines of where you want to abstract wherever you want to. Um, <coughs> we have, as part of the stack, that is in GitHub, there is an implementation of this for the STM32 and zero. So <clears throat> if you start with that, then you have everything you need. If you have a different STM, um, then it's probably easiest to use the, all the boost stuff and just re <coughs> or change the green layer if you have a completely different you know, the, the lines that you might want to draw. Maybe a If I confuse you completely, please let me know. I'm, if you can ask questions at any time, this is a small group. That's awesome. Okay, so, the, so the stack you mentioned on the GitHub can be run on a PC or must be run on some board with this uh, appropriate uh, hardware with Laura? So um, as, it, as it comes from GitHub, 
it's, it's made, if you just type, type make and do nothing else, it's made to run on, on this one. This is the, one of the, this is one of the, the Nuclear Explorer discovery boards, um, which comes with the Murata um, ABC module. Um, it also, and we'll, we'll get to that in, uh, <coughs> later on, it comes with the simulation. So you can actually run certain things in the simulation. When it comes to, so when you write firmware, then usually you want to interact with some peripherals. And the simulation has some limited peripheral simulations, but that's when it gets more interesting. And of course, everything is, as we always say, everything is open source, <laughs> so you can just, <laughs> whatever system you can add yourself. But um, yeah, but it comes with 